Okay, I've just opened it up. This is a Lang cert pump. This is three quarter by three quarter. I am touching it and it is hot to the touch. So the pump is bad. There's something in it that's either stuck or full of trash or something. There's something wrong with it. So we definitely got a problem with that. Another way you can tell this cert pump's got a problem is that cert pump draws um, it's supposed to draw 0.045, so less than a half an amp, and you can see that it is drawing 0.51. It is hot to the touch. It is not moving any water. You can see that the tub water is dead. So bad circulation pump. And it, okay, I'm going to show you how to retrofit this Grumpus pump in place of this Lang. This Lang is three quarter inch clear tube on the outside, and this is one inch. Uh, barb where that's three quarter barb but this one inch if you slip it over that will slip inside of it and then we can put a clamp on it and hold it in place and that's what we're going to do okay so I had to make some modifications to it originally it shipped with this bracket there so I moved the bracket down and it's also shipped with this term where it would be down here so I pull these four Allen wrench uh, bolts out, and what size Allen wrench that I use is a. Let's see, I don't know if it's going to tell me on here. I'm sure it's on here. There she is. A s six thirty seconds. But I use a six thirty seconds Allen wrench. I take those four bolts out and actually turn the body of the pump but now if we know that it's going to go on a Sundance tub we will turn it for you and uh, or what the setup will try to turn it for you but anyway we're getting close to being done here okay it's a Phillips bit right here and you just turn it counterclockwise and then you can pull the little cap right off it's hard to do and hold the camera but that's what it looks like and you got your two wires inside there and we're going to install this. You can see that that hole is oblong, or it's got a little cut in it, and this does. So what we're going to do is stick that through there. I have to get this out of the way. Stick this through like this, and then put a pair of pliers on it and turn it. So that's how you do that. Okay, you open the back of the lane. There's two screws here. Some of them are flat, some of them are Phillips. You take that off, and then there's three flat screwdriver bits in here for small flat. And you undo this. If you don't have a small flat, just cut it. But these are tinned on the end, you can see. Green for ground. White is hot. Black is hot on this particular deal because this is a three-wire system. does not use neutral, and therefore it does not have a neutral. Therefore, this is a 230-volt pump that is coming out of here. So, and we're putting a 230 back in. Okay, so I took my green wire and I put a crimp connector on it with a loop. I twisted my black, and the polarity does not matter. The two wires on the pump are both white, so black and white doesn't matter here. So the next step is I'm going to take crimp cap. This right here is a crimp cap. And you just, after you twist the wires together, you put the crimp cap on there and you take a crimper. You can see crimp pliers. You slip it over it just like that and you crimp it on and it makes a nice solid um, connection and we do put crimp caps in your kit when you get it and we put this sorterless terminal and we put one of these in your kit when we send you a pump that way you uh, don't have to struggle looking for these items it's a necessary part now the last thing I'm going to do is hook my ground up if you'll notice that the ground is on the outside of the box so what we're going to do is take this green screw right here out with the flat screwdriver and put that loop under it right there and that's going to give us our ground and we're in business okay we've got the pump ready we've got the one inch on here one inch and this three quarter when we cut it's going to slide inside here already got this clamp got the clamps for using on the inside so what i'm going to do is i've got this loose i'm going to put some blue glue inside here and here i'm going to cut this one right about there and I'm going to cut that one right off the front for speed so I can hurry up and get them out and get them back in to get the water stopped and then we're going to hook the clamps up turn her on we're back in business okay you see it didn't take long to get it in there I didn't lose much water what I did was used a needle nose clamp and clamp this off and clamp that one off to stop the water and uh, we had some in the heater that came out but I'm saying needle nose clamp, it's needle nose vice grips is what it is. You can just pinch it right on the line just like that.
that and clamp it off and stop the water almost all of it. And uh, but we've got it in now. I'm gonna hook my clamps up. I slid it up inside there, and uh, we'll be done shortly. Okay, I've just powered up, and you can see that my circ is already starting to move water. Heater has come on. Sorry, y'all. Those things are not easy to do with one hand, but I am actually heating. And that's it. It's done deal. That is a installed pump replacement retrofit. You can actually see the water movement right in there. It's moving water real good. And uh, it will not allow the heater to overheat and it will work.